how did you feel? Because the 2016 Worlds, like, I mean, the team seemed to play pretty well. Like, I, I chalked that one up as being one of the actual unlucky ones where you guys That's had a very unlucky group, by the yeah, way. That was a yeah. hard group. Yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys got a pretty insanely hard group. You guys went three and three. Um, I think Samsung also went three and three in that group, if I'm not mistaken. And then they ended up going like all the way. Or I think maybe RNG went three and three and they ended up um, going deeper in the tournament as well. But you essentially tied with one of the teams that got out of the group. Um, and showed good performances in the games. I mean, obviously, fame, like, if Double didn't have that moment um, in uh, the Lucian versus Victor game, you probably end up getting out of that group. So I guess my question to you is, like, what ended up happening in the 2017 Worlds? Because 2016, you guys looked on form. It looked like you guys could play um, internationally. It did seem like you guys were playing towards the best of your abilities. But the 2017 Worlds, you guys seemed to have a much easier group, but something just collapsed. It got to the point where TSM was just completely inactive in the early game. It was like every single game, no one was moving around the map at all, and you guys just slowly lost. So what kind of like happened that made the roster devolve? Because that was, uh, you know, like one of the, the main super teams that we had in, uh, in NA. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, just to me personally, it's it was just a huge confidence blunder, I would say. Like the scrims we had in, tw in tw 17 really just made everyone doubt their own skill. And I mean, that's speaking, speaking in my personal experience, at least. I play a lot better if I'm confident and I'm willing to go for players because I feel like I'm going to win the skirmishes. But yeah, when, uh, when you get told doing the scrims that, uh, that you're kind of shit and it's going on for like two weeks straight, then uh, Kind of messes with my confidence for sure. Do you mean you're getting you told by teams? like? Yeah, well, he means his teammates. Well, right? are you getting told by like managers? Are you getting told by your team, or do you mean just like the feedback from the scrims? Like you oh, guys are like fit self telling you. Well, no. Like, well, like lo losing the scrims is like just indicating to you that you're not good. Are you yeah, saying right. that like? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you pretty much get my question. I mean, I don't want to say who, but yeah, we 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 were all kind of getting told that we're. Shitty. I wonder so, who it could okay. be. That's that's absolutely crazy. Um, With a massive head, looks like a Lego character. Asian. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> no nothing like that. But um, so if you could guess, you know. Yeah. So what, 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 in this scenario, by the way, one thing that people often used to comment about is like, obviously, Weldon, when he worked with all the NA teams, because he one thing he did a good job with is he was very good as a salesman of his own skills, right? Because he knew since he's not working full time on these teams, he needs the other teams to pick him up. So he always did a very good job of like basically bragging about his successes. So he was with that TSM team, he was with G2, a bunch of teams that were successful. But famously, I'm pretty sure almost none of these teams ever actually took him to Worlds. I think they always left him behind. So uh, I'm talking, 16, did you guys we you took him there? I, yeah, I, I just mean not Weldon specifically, but someone in that kind of a role. Like, do you think that that kind of a role would have helped, like, in this 2017 example? For, like, what, like, do you actually find, have you taken anything from working with people like that? Does it help you personally? Uh, so I actually have a lot of respect for Weldon because when I first came to TSM, that was like the spring split, and we just didn't really have a team identity, and sure. we were really shit as a team. And then I think we hired Weldon for, like, a boot camp, that we did during the split and leading up to playoffs or something. And I mean, he just made me feel more welcome in the team. And I think he made everyone more familiar with each other. And I think that's what we kind of needed at the time to just like learn each other, to like learn to know each other. Because we we're just five good players set in the team, right? Expected to perform, but like, yeah, nobody really wanted to sacrifice for each other. But then Walden came in and made everyone like feel more friendly for each other, I guess. So. I think he does a really good job of connecting players and just making it feel more like a team. And I think that's why we were able to uh, like play really well in 16 playoffs in spring and also go on in summer and play pretty well because I think they hired Weldon full time. And even though he does a lot of uh, weird like voodoo stuff or like I don't know what to say. <laughs> Mindfulness exercises. <laughs> Mindfulness and stuff like this. Yeah. Then he's really good at like making people uh, connect to each other.